In a damning documentary titled Disciples, The Cult of TB Joshua, the BBC, in collaboration with international media platform Open Democracy, has uncovered evidence of widespread abuse and torture by the late founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, SCOAN, Tematope Balagan Joshua, known as TB Joshua. The allegations span nearly two decades, revealing a dark side to the charismatic preacher's evangelical empire that once boasted a massive global following. The investigation, conducted over two years, brings to light shocking revelations from dozens of ex-synagogue church members, including five British nationals. The allegations include physical violence, torture, child abuse, rape, forced abortions, and manipulation of supposed miracle healings. The victims recount instances of being whipped, chained, sexually assaulted, and subjected to solitary confinement within the secretive compound in Lagos, Nigeria, where TB Joshua held sway. More than 25 former disciples, hailing from various countries, including the UK, Nigeria, US, South Africa, Ghana, Namibia, and Germany, spoke on the record about their harrowing experiences within the church. Many victims joined as teenagers, lured by the promise of divine healing and miracles. The testimonies paint a disturbing picture of life inside the SCOAN, with several comparing it to being part of a cult. Ray, a British woman who spent 12 years in TB Joshua's compound, bravely shared her story of sexual assault, forced solitary confinement, and multiple suicide attempts. Other victims, like Jessica Kaimu from Namibia, recounted years of rape and forced abortions, describing the medical treatments as life-threatening. The BBC's investigation also exposes how TB Joshua meticulously orchestrated the production of videos showcasing supposed miracle healings within the church. Former members revealed that he demanded 90% of the ministry's earnings be invested in recording these events, creating an illusion that added authenticity to his gospel of miracles. Former disciples, including those from the UK, highlighted the church's cult-like atmosphere, where physical abuse was normalized, and members were manipulated into unquestioning loyalty. Witnesses claimed that TB Joshua had an obsession with attracting a white audience, sending disciples to recruit vulnerable individuals who were deemed easier to manipulate. The shocking documentary also sheds light on the attempts by victims to expose the abuse, only to face physical attacks, threats, and intimidation. Some former disciples who spoke out on social media claimed to have been physically attacked and shot at, reinforcing the atmosphere of fear created by TB Joshua's influence. The BBC's investigation revisits the controversial collapse of a guest house in 2014 within the SCOAN premises, which claimed the lives of 116 people. Former members disclosed that the building had structural defects, contradicting TB Joshua's claims of an aircraft causing the collapse. The incident, they argue, symbolizes a pattern of cover-ups within the church. Despite the extensive evidence presented in the documentary, the SCOAN denies all allegations, asserting that unfounded claims against TB Joshua are not new. The church continues to thrive under the leadership of TB Joshua's widow, Evelyn, who led a tour of Spain in July 2023. The BBC's Disciples the Cult of TB Joshua documentary has peeled back the layers of one of the world's largest Christian evangelical churches, revealing a dark underbelly of abuse, manipulation, and a culture of silence. As former disciples bravely share their stories, questions arise about accountability, the role of faith in such communities, and the need for thorough investigations into the alleged atrocities committed by TB Joshua during his influential tenure at the SCOAN.